nothing to it Go ahead and bring a lot on Ain't no giant, I ain't gon' fire on Catch a fade, you I'm wrong, I'm gone Y'all can catch the wave that I am on I am icon, y'all are wide wrong Think that I'm a reconciled boy So ain't nothing to it though This is all me, ain't got much to do with who you know Keep it a true to form, turn the L's into a milli though But they already knew that those for to your opinions Know that he is so Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to build and fly a new 5 inch quadcopter using the Raptor V2 ultra durable frame. The highlight of this frame is an aluminum cage which according to its manufacturer Uniquad, a company based out in Israel which specializes in producing military grade aluminum components should make it pretty much indestructible. In this video I'm going to quickly go over the features and highlights of the frame give me feedback after testing it out, and of course, crash it as much as I can in order to test its durability. First of all, in terms of features and specs, the dry weight of the prototype version that I have is 244.3 grams, including the action camera mount and some of the 3D printed parts, so it is definitely on the heavy side. Keep in mind though that this is a prototype version, so the final version should be a little bit lighter, at least, according to the specs that I can see on the website and about 40% of the weight of the frame is a result of using a very robust cage that consists of four plates that should properly protect the internal components of the quadcopter. In addition, the frame features 4mm thick 5-inch replaceable carbon fiber arms, the thickness of the side aluminum plates which provides some protection to the camera lens is 3.4 millimeters. It comes with a detachable aluminum action camera mount. It supports micro-sized FB cameras. On the center of the frame, you can find both 20 by 20 and 30.5 by 30.5 millimeters M4 mounting holes for mounting the stack. On its backside, 20 by 20 millimeters M2 mounting holes for mounting your VTX. And spare and 3D printed parts are available for an extra cost. Now as you can see the Raptor V2 is ready for a maiden flight so what I'm going to do now is to head outdoors, crash it and get back to you in order to check the results. Okay, so now I'm back, and I must admit that it was a very unique experience intentionally crashing the quadcopter. As you can see, the frame itself is pretty much intact, the aluminum cage and the carbon fiber arms didn't suffer any damage, and the item that was heavily damaged is the camera lens that was pushed inside after each crash. I've already gave my feedback to the designer of this frame, and on the next version, they are going to add a couple of more mounting holes on the side aluminum plates, which will enable you to place the camera deeper inside the frame and protect it. And another item that suffered some damage is the antenna, which was detached from the Vista unit. And I advised to Uniquad to add an option to mount it closer to the frame in order to better protect it. In addition, the battery that I used in my test is now completely destroyed because it was mounted on the top plate, so it suffered a lot of damage when crashing the drone from the front side, so I think that it can be great 
to be able to mount the battery on the bottom side where it is going to be better protected from front crashes. And another suggestion that I had to Uniquad is to add an option to protect the stack and VTX by adding thin aluminum plates on the right and left sides so they are going to be better protected inside the aluminum cage. Now by the way, I also suggest that in case you are going to opt in for this build to use 20 by 20 millimeter stacks as it is going to be better protected inside the aluminum cage whereas in case you are going to use a bigger 30.5 by 30.5 millimeter stack it's going to be more exposed and more prone to suffer damages in case of a crash. So overall, in my opinion, this frame definitely has a lot of potential and it's something that you might want to consider in case you're flying in an areas where if you are going to crash your drone, it is very likely to be destroyed, like for example, in an underground parking area. And I'm sure that on the next version of this frame, Uniquad are going to make it even better. Now, in case you're interested in this frame, in the description box down below, you can find a coupon code that is going to get you 10% off. So make sure to check it out before checking out. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos. And goodbye.